Not too long ago, in a country called the United States of America, the people lived in a harmonious environment where they openly welcomed people with love and acceptance. Those less fortunate weren't called out and made to feel bad, and those who were more fortunate willingly gave and helped the ones who needed it, without demeaning them or creating an ugly scene causing others to ridicule and harass them. Life was pleasant. Life was filled with patience and understanding. It was a wonderful time to live in this country, which was the envy of the world, and the people were proud to call this country their home. However, about three years ago, a new leader took over. He was elected into power without truly being elected by the people. It was a sham. This was going to be a bad turn of events for this once loving nation, as he was a hateful leader who loved to ridicule others. He created harmful statements and policies and badger people who didn't agree with him. He loved to create horrible nicknames for others to embarrass them and make himself feel better than them. He loved to brag about how much money he had, but never provided proof that he truly was as wealthy or successful as he claimed he was. He expected people to take him at his word, even though he never took others at their word, and often created ugly situations to ridicule those who wouldn't quickly prove the things he was saying about them weren't true. He wanted fast results, but never provided them himself. He was a horrible man. He was a horrible leader. Soon everyone was being mean to each other. People started saying certain people didn't belong in this country and they needed to leave. Soon they started to demand that those who didn't look and sound like them had to leave the country immediately. Suddenly vans and buses started gathering up the poor people and special hateful soldiers got out and gathered them all up and made them leave the country or locked them up while they figured out if they belonged here. When they realized that they could take their children from them and suit their, to suit their needs, they started separating the mothers and fathers from their children and started to use their children to help other parents who couldn't have children become parents. They even put these children who had no lawyers and no idea of what was happening to them on the stand in a court hearing to defend themselves. Infants, toddlers, and young kids were forced to attend a hearing that would determine their future and of course, when they couldn't defend themselves, they were now judicially ordered to be removed from their parents. After they were taken away from their parents, they fostered out they were fostered out to strangers, people who had nothing in common with them, while their real parents were still being held in a detention center or deported to a country that some of them had never even been to, or hadn't been to since they were young children themselves. It was like a whole new world to them, but the mean and horrible leader didn't care. In fact, he made the detention centers not provide soap, toothpaste, toothbrushes, or medicine, even though the people brought their were taken there without any warning and did not have time to grab these basic things for themselves. Finally, the year came that offered up the citizens of this country a chance to restore the way they used to live, to perhaps return to the way a country used to be, more loving and open to those who were different, a country less judgmental and divisive and more inclusive and welcoming. When they had a chance between this horrible, selfish, ugly leader and someone who was intelligent, fair, loving and honorable, they flocked to the voting booths and on that day, and overwhelmingly voted the horrible, ugly leader out of power and into oblivion, where he was shunned by society and forced to live the rest of his days in a secluded island with his ugly, hateful children and like-minded friends, where nobody visited him. He lived with his ugly, hateful children who were also scorned and dismissed from society, and those who still longed for his hateful, bitter rule, about 30% of the people from that once loving nation, who were content, they joined him as well. One race, one language, one shade, the great again island state, near Greenland or Holland or somewhere bland or cold, where they all lived miserably ever after. So this is a reminder for you to get out and vote. Don't let the electoral process bring us into a hazardous situation once again. Vote November 2020 and vote this ugly orange man out of office. This has been a public service announcement for voting Make sure you get out there and do so. Thank you. This is a TGR Jams production.